After some back and forth negotiations, we got the house for $455,000. The tenants finally moved out, so we're meeting with Jeff to look at the inside to see what we bought. Oh, look at it. Tenants left us their stuff. Still here. Oh, yay. Go on, guys. Jeff. It's ugly, huh, Jeff? There's a lot of houses you guys have where they don't look bad from the outside and we get inside and they're horrible. Yeah, this might be both. It might look <laughs> bad and is horrible. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom. It's about 1,500 square feet. The moment of truth. How bad is it? Oh, I can already smell it out here, Oh dude. my gosh, it's, oh. it's, yeah. Let a little bit of breeze out. It's nasty, come on. Oh my gosh. Looks like it got set on fire. <laughs> That is nasty. We'll do. Okay, first impression though, it feels like it lives like a big house, but there are a ton of walls that need to be removed. The kitchen, it's either we keep a galley kitchen or we open up this wall and do like a big island open to the family room. How much do you think it would cost to, to open this way and this way, open up this whole space? Um, Because this whole thing should be open and this should be the island right here overlooking the living room right here. Right now, the house feels so boxy and closed off because of this wall. What about this wall? Are you wanting to open up this wall so that this room is one big room? It looks like this is an addition. Yeah. I hope it's permitted. It's definitely an addition. I don't know. Do you want me to check to see if that's permitted? Yeah. yeah. What, if, what if we raise this to be the level of this room right here? So raise this up and then open up the walls, this side and that side. So opening this wall is probably about 4,500. This is getting expensive, we haven't even started. Yeah. I know Jeff and he's throwing around really big estimates to mentally prepare me. To know the real cost, he's gonna need more time to look at the structure of the house. But I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be included in today's bid. All right, let's, let's just keep looking. Jeff, we really gotta find out the cost to open this wall here and then Go. the wall there. Do, Do not, not enter. enter. Yeah. All right, let's enter. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, look at the floor. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Look at this. Watch oh this. Oh my god. That. What? What? That is a big problem. What is that? Why is it doing it, that? That means you're getting moisture behind the tile. Water damage. What are you thinking here? 10? Yeah, it's 10. This house is a disaster. I mean, $10,000 is a lot for a small bathroom, but we may have major plumbing problems in here. So we need to remove all the tile and see if there's any water damage to the framing. Kids, bedroom number one. Well, in here it's pretty simple, right? Couple hundred bucks. Bedroom number two. It is a small house, actually. All right, so we saw two bedrooms. We saw one bathroom. Another do not enter sign. Is that water? Uh-oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I just disturbed it. The stench is leaking out. I think it might be coming from this water bed, dude. Oh, God. Oh, oh it's so gross. Ew, there's nothing gross than walking in water. Ugh. So what happened? The this water is bed nasty. leaked? Yeah, it leaked everywhere. We're going to we're gonna have to fix this. It, it smells like, like, uh, just awful. I need to get a guy in here at ASAP to remove the bed and rip up the carpet. There could be water damage to the floor and maybe even the framing. Oh, my God, the smell is unreal. Well, Let's come in here and take a look at the sights. Oh, my God, this... <laughs> well, full gut in here. What do you think, about eight grand? In here, eight. We're gonna have to gut everything, just rip everything out. This yeah. Is, this is a huge problem. Man, my socks are starting to get wet. Damn. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the bed out of here. I just wanna show you guys what the floors look like. Obviously, it did some damage. But I think we could just come through and do a light little sanding right here and be good. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but we got lucky. We got really lucky. Yeah. Now let me show you in here, because these floors and the whole bathroom, not the same story. The plumbing is fine, but we've got termite damage all through the floors. And you can see down through here, it's falling apart, dude. And I've got to cut out the subfloor, replace this. We've got a lot of woodwork to do in here. You guys are looking right around a thousand dollars. Does this mean we have to get it tented? I'd call a pest control company out here to see, but I doubt it. All right, that's good. Yeah, well, obviously we have to do it. Like, <laughs> it is yeah. what it is. You break it, you buy it, Jeff. You're really going to town on that thing. What are we gonna do with the front of this house, by the way? It looks like a barn. I'm thinking, I don't know, rip out all this wood, restucco. What's that gonna run? That's already included in the bid. I'm fine with that. Stucco it. Okay, let, let's do that. Oh, look, it's open. Howdy, partner. 
What do you mean, howdy, partner? It's because I'm wearing a flannel. Are you trying to make fun of me already? I just got here. <laughs> Space is open. Oh, I do have bad news for you. So Jeff called, and we have to replace all the ducting in the house and the AC unit. 8,400 bucks. 8,400? 8,400 bucks. The prices of everything is super high right now. So I, I hope your kitchen materials aren't expensive. Uh. The vibe of the house has slightly a southwestern vibe. So it doesn't. Look at the cactus. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a cactus. What is that? The That's not southwestern. Is... What do you mean southwestern? Slightly. I just said slightly. Okay, sure. So I was thinking a little bit darker cabinets. Okay. Which we haven't done in a while. And then the simple counter, and then um, a really nice backsplash. I'm thinking. I, I like the cabinet color. I like the floor color. I feel like the backsplash. It's a little bit of a rose hue. How's that gonna look? Is, is, this, is this a decoy backsplash? <laughs> Where's the real one? There's a, that's, that's the real one. What do you mean decoy? Like, you know, you trick me all the time. You show me an ugly one and then sell me on a oh, nice one. Is there this is the ugly one? one. I like, knew it. <laughs> You're so annoying. Wizard. <laughs> There's this one too. All right, now you're talking. And this one is only $3. Perfect. That's it? Yeah, so it's in budget. Oh, that is it. That's under budget. Yeah. Good job. Let's go with this one. Which flooring do you like? I like the lighter one, I feel like, especially with that. Let's go with the light one. Okay, cool. So look nice. What's going on, you guys? Yeah, this look good. Yeah, I'm getting the last one set in here. We gotta figure out something for this fireplace, though. So I'm thinking that we carry that, like, slight southwestern theme. Uh-huh. How much is a smooth stucco? About 2,400. Okay. Versus how much is it to just paint? A couple hundred bucks. <laughs> I mean... It's a big slab. What do you so, think of the kitchen? You like it? Here's the backsplash. I yeah. like it. Do you see how the color of this cabinet and the color of the backsplash matches? I feel like this is more of a brown, though. <laughs> You're a tough critic. Do you like this island? Is it Taylor approved? Yes. She likes it, huh? All right. I like it. Top dollar, here we come. Approved. This backyard's a disaster. Tell me what you guys want to do out here. I have an idea, and it's not because I'm being cheap. Okay. You see all these railroad ties? Yeah. So we could take these railroad ties, and we can move them, and we create a planter You're wall. You're being cheap. This looks cute. Hey, what do you think? The stucco versus the siding? I feel like probably the siding would have been maybe a little much. This feels more Southwestern. Welcome home. Okay, way better. Oh, it's so open. It's nice that when you walk through the front door, you can literally see every room. I, I can't believe it's the same house. Like, so the, the best thing we did here was, was honestly opening up the space. I know, and honestly, I'm surprised that you did this because I felt like you were gonna say no the whole time. So I'm really glad you said yes because it looks awesome. I like the darker cabinets we went with here and the backsplash, it does incorporate a bit of that like modern Southwest flair. And the fireplace looks so good. Yeah, and I love that we did the smooth stucco with the black bricks. Looks really, really looks cool. Looks super cool. Hey, you know what? This yard made it a long way. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Imagine a little family. They walk out. First time buyers. I like how we reuse the railroad ties. Yep, looks really nice. You want to see this bathroom first? Hey, this tile came out great. We got to do this more often. The design looks really pretty. I like the flooring with the simple shower tile. Looks really nice. The buyers are going to love this house for sure. Remember this bedroom? It had like a flood. Remember there was a water bed? Oh, the bed? water bed. Of yeah. course, I remember the water bed. We got lucky that it wasn't too much damage. The bathroom's kind of small, but the design's really nice. It's small, but the way it's laid out it works, right? I like the corner shower. So we have... Bedroom number two. It's a good size. That's yeah, cute. Again, it's a good size bedroom. Nice view. What are you doing? Don't do that. Okay, so when we bought the house, the comps were like low to bid sevens, I think. And right. I just re-ran the comps. Ones that aren't fixed up are selling for about 780. Fixed up ones are selling between 815 and 825. So we bought the house for 455,000. 
when we first walked it with Jeff, he said the rehab was going to be 94,000. So right. after the construction and staging, that cost us about 125,000. And after closing costs and commission, our break even is around 610. I think we come in strong 799.9. We try to get multiple offers, drive the price up. I think at that price, based on the comps, we're definitely going to get multiple offers. So, yeah. Go for it. Seems like a home run. Okay. It is a beautiful home. We accepted the offer at $842,000, and we stand to make a profit of over $230,000.